The hardest things in the first year of marriage. Marriage isn't all fun and games. Marriage with your soulmate brings immense joy, yet it's essential to understand that love is just one aspect of it. Many newlyweds are unprepared for the realities of the first year of marriage. Alongside love, there are inevitable disagreements, trials, and obstacles that couples must confront together. It's not merely about exchanging rings, it's about nurturing a marriage with resilience and positivity. Undoubtedly, the initial year presents unique challenges. Here are some common difficulties that newlyweds encounter, particularly during this foundational period. 1. A change of identity. Marriage marks a profound transformation, as you adopt new roles like spouse or son slash daughter-in-law, reshaping your identity. It's common to feel a sense of uncertainty about your self-identity post-marriage. Previously, you had a strong bond with yourself and your family, but with new relationships, it's natural to feel adrift. Thankfully, your partner is there to support you in rediscovering your sense of self. 2. Linking fears with future. You'll find that your fears manifest in new ways, often intertwining with future scenarios involving you and your partner's choices and perspectives. Concerns like, we're spending a lot now, how will we manage finances when we start a family, may arise, prompting the need to openly communicate these worries with your spouse. 3. Handling finances. Surprisingly, merging finances can pose challenges as you and your partner plan for future savings. Previously, managing your own finances was the norm, but now, accommodating each other's financial habits can be a hurdle. However, by compromising and establishing a structured approach, this issue can usually be resolved. 4. Juggling two families together. As if managing one family wasn't challenging enough, getting married introduces a whole new set of responsibilities. Now, you'll need to consider and care for not just your own family but also your spouses. Your decisions will affect both families, adding complexity. Perhaps the most challenging aspect is balancing your time and attention equally between them. 5. There's no me anymore. Your life is no longer just yours, it's shared with your partner. They're your lifelong companion, and decisions now must be made with their input. Initially, you might feel a sense of loss regarding your previous life, friends, social outings, and parties. However, with time, you'll learn to embrace married life while maintaining your individuality. It's crucial to remember that you're progressing in life together with your partner by your side. Five people share their first-time accounts of sex after marriage. These special, funny stories will give you just the right feels. The intimacy shared on your wedding night can feel truly divine. The profound connection of body, mind, and soul takes on an extra layer of significance amidst the romance, lust, and desire filling the air. For those who haven't experienced sex before marriage, the anticipation of this intimate union may be indescribable. Therefore, we present anonymous accounts detailing individuals' experiences of their first sexual encounter after marriage. 1. Being fully clothed. After getting married, my first sexual experience occurred about a week later. We were still adjusting to each other's presence. When we began kissing and getting intimate for the first time, we got so caught up in the moment that we forgot to undress. It wasn't until we were fully aroused that we realized our clothing was still on, leading to a burst of laughter. We ended up not having sex that day, but we did the following day. 2. A different kind of pain. Neither my wife nor I had any clue what we were doing. Being our first time, we awkwardly attempted the missionary position. Just as we were about to proceed, my wife accidentally kneed me in a sensitive area. As a result, we didn't end up having sex until a month later. 3. The Honeymoon Disaster Our honeymoon in Paris was a dream come true, except for our first attempt at intimacy. Given the high expenses, we opted for an average hotel. However, on our second night, we were greeted by the passionate sounds of another couple in the adjacent room, which only heightened our nervousness about having sex for the first time. As a result, we didn't end up experiencing intimacy in the city of love. Quite the unexpected turn of events, wouldn't you agree? 4. Watching instructions together. Our initial endeavor at intimacy was both embarrassing and unsuccessful. Consequently, we chose to watch porn together. However, this experience led to doubts about whether we could perform like professionals. Nevertheless, we ultimately decided to approach it in our own way, slow, gentle, and sensual. 5. The feeling of comfort. 
The pain I experienced during our first sexual encounter after marriage was excruciating. It brought me to tears, which instantly dampened the mood for both of us. However, my husband turned the situation around by showing me immense care and tenderness. His comforting gestures, wiping away my tears and gently kissing my cheeks, deeply touched my heart. Despite our arranged marriage, I found myself falling in love with him on our wedding night itself. Look out for these red flags on dating profiles. Better safe than sorry. In today's modern dating scene, swiping left or right has become the norm. Online dating has gained popularity due to its convenience, allowing individuals to match and converse with new people from the comfort of their own homes. It's an enjoyable experience that opens doors to potential connections. However, when seeking a serious relationship, there are certain do's and don'ts to consider in the realm of online dating. Recognizing red flags on dating profiles can help you steer clear of potential drama and avoid unsuitable matches. Here are some telltale signs to watch out for. 1. Having no bio. Encountering dating profiles without a bio should raise a red flag. This absence may indicate that the individual either hastily created the profile or lacks enthusiasm for presenting themselves effectively. Neglecting this essential step suggests a lack of genuine interest. Crafting a compelling profile requires time and effort. If a profile lacks any meaningful content beyond a few photos, it may not be worth your attention. 2. Trying to be T.O.O. cool. Some individuals opt for incomplete sentences, trendy language, and minimal profile information in an attempt to exude an air of mystery. They believe this approach will attract more attention, but it often has the opposite effect. Many people are deterred from engaging with potential partners who come across as overly cool or aloof in initial conversations. It can be off-putting and intimidating. 3. Being super direct. Some individuals opt for a very direct approach with their matches, prioritizing efficiency over honesty. Their aim is to swiftly achieve their objectives without investing time in getting to know someone. Typically, these individuals are interested in casual relationships. If you're seeking a serious commitment, it's best to avoid engaging with them. 4. Replies back super slow. When someone consistently takes a significant amount of time to respond, it's likely they're not genuinely interested. It's not merely a matter of a busy schedule, as initial interactions on a dating app typically involve quick exchanges. If their responses are consistently delayed with excuses, it's advisable to unmatch with such individuals. 5. Having no hobbies or interests. A person's approach to dating shouldn't solely rely on pickup lines or conversations about past relationships. If someone shows reluctance to open up about themselves, it's a significant warning sign. When initiating online conversations, discussing hobbies and interests should be a primary focus. Furthermore, if an individual's hobbies seem centered solely around drinking and partying, it may indicate compatibility issues and warrant caution. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.